Hey guys and welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get right into this video so happy october everyone it's finally october and i'm so excited for the halloween season i don't really know why but this year i feel like halloween is my favorite holiday of the year i just really like how cozy it is so of course we gotta start off october with some spooky nails but i was honestly feeling a little bit overwhelmed on what design to pick because there's just so many i just want to start off the spooky nails right but i just couldn't decide on a nail set to be honest so so i'm not exactly sure what we're going to be doing for this design today but i do know that i want this type of color scheme and i also really like this design i know it's not really halloween like but i feel like the black and the chrome like it could pass you know what i mean it might be like a good design to start off october with another thing we're going to be doing differently today so normally i use poly gel but i've been seeing like on tiktok gel x nails but they don't apply them like how you would expect i think it's called a gel x overlay but i could be wrong it's basically when you have a full cover tip and instead of gluing on the nail like fully covering your natural nail you kind of glue it like this with a gap between the cuticle area and the tip and then you go in and fill in the gap that you left and it's supposed to make a nice seamless transition between the cuticle and the actual nail tip and also i've had these full cover tips for a while now and i really want to use them because like look how long they are they're like extra extra long and they're perfectly squared and i really want to use them so i think we're gonna try that method today so let me just show you everything that you're gonna need for this nail set so to glue on the full cover tips i might use some clear poly gel just because i feel like it's just a bit easier to stick onto the nail next i have this nude gel polish it's kind of sheer so i might have to do a couple of coats but it is a really nice color so i'm gonna use that and you're definitely going to need some black gel polish next for the chrome i have some chrome powder and also for possibly some of the nail art, I have this chrome gel. And then here's what I got for the nail decorations. I'm going to be using these silver gems. Possibly this cross right here. They do have like a cross charm in the picture. But I feel like this cross is just like a little spookier. And then I did have these if I was going to go the regular cross route but these are like really small so i might not use these and then also the star charm if we're not going to change anything so that is pretty much everything you're going to need and let's just get right into this nail set so here are my natural nails they just need a little bit of cleanup around the cuticle area but they're not super bad so we're just going to start with the nail prep i'm first going to take a cuticle pusher and push back all the cuticles Next, I'm going to take this circular cuticle drill bit and I'm going to work this around the cuticle areas. Now I'm going to take some cuticle scissors and trim off the excess dead skin. Okay, now I'm going to take some nail clippers and I'm going to trim down the nails. Next, I'm going to take a hand file and I'm just going to smooth out the free edge.
Next, I'm going to take a fine grit sanding band and I'm just going to gently scratch up the surface of the nails just a little bit though because I am going to be putting on a peel off base coat because I don't need these nails to last that long. So I'm just going to do a light file over the nails. Okay, next I'm going to add on a peel off base coat and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my peel off base coat on and I already have my nail tip sized out. So we are going to get right into applying these tips. So what you're first going to want to do, this is definitely for if you want your nails to last a long time. So I don't really want these nails to last. So something you should do to adhere the nail tips better is take some acetone, which I have right here. And I also have a brush that, you know, it's old. We don't really care about. It's going to get messed up with the acetone. You're going to take some acetone and you're just going to rub this into the nail tip and it should melt the nail tip so that way it's not as smooth in here and it'll definitely adhere to your nail better you could also file this with the nail drill if you want but i feel like the acetone might just be like a little easier and there it is it just adds some texture into the nail tip so i'm gonna do that to all the nails So now we're just going to put on these tips. So how Gel X works basically is you would have like a really thick type of gel to glue on the nails with but i don't have that so you could use base coat but here's my thing with base coat it's just a little too runny it's kind of hard to stick on the nail tips because the base coat it doesn't fill in the gaps like you need it to so that's why i'm going to use poly gel just because it's thicker and it'll hold the nail in place better and it'll fill any of the gaps can you still call these gel x i'm not too sure but that's just how we're going to apply them so to cure these on i'm going to use a uv flashlight and then i'll put my hand in the nail lamp to fully cure them so what i'm gonna do is add a little bit of poly gel right there at the cuticle area and kind of like slice it off at that edge kind of gonna smooth it out just a little but keeping a lot of it towards this bottom right here and then i'm going to push it onto the nail at kind of an angle so kind of like this i'm gonna put it on the nail Okay, so these nail tips are a little bit odd because at the cuticle area, they definitely go up like a lot. Like, and I don't think that's just because of the poly gel or anything. Okay, so we do have like too much poly gel going on. So I think I'm gonna restart because I feel like I just put on too much poly gel. Okay, I'm gonna take off some of this excess. That's much better. So I took off a lot of the excess and I'm just making sure that the nail is centered and straight. So the thing that worries me here is this cuticle area because like I said, it kind of points up a lot. So I'm just gonna press this down and try and make this nail tip kind of closer to my natural nail. And once again, I'm still leaving that gap at the cuticle area. And then I'm going to smooth out the bottom a little bit and try and take off this excess poly gel down here. Okay, so I feel like that's pretty good. Um, The underside's uh, a little bit messy, but you know, we're covering it up anyway so because we're using poly gel the nail stays in place very easily i'm just making sure that it looks good on all the sides and also under the nail this way we don't want it to have like such a huge gap under there so i'm making sure to try and stick it down the best i can and then i'm going to put this in the nail lamp and just fully cure it okay so the nail is fully cured on here's how it looks obviously i'll get to how to reconstruct this after and i really love the shape i feel like the shape is super nice that's why i wanted to do this full cover tip stuff because normally i don't really like the shapes of full cover tips i don't really like that coffin it's like round and then really thin like i don't really like that shape so that's why i kind of don't really use full cover tips but these are really nicely shaped 
So we're gonna continue that process for the rest of the nails. So I'm just going to put a small bead of clear poly gel into the nail tip and I'm making sure to do a little amount because I learned from the thumb not to put too much. And I'm just gonna flatten that out just a little. And then I'm going to stick this on the nail and making sure to leave a gap between the nail tip and the cuticle area. Okay, so I got the nail on there and I just quickly cured it a little bit with the flashlight. And so far I feel like this isn't so bad, but we definitely gotta see how much work it's gonna be to fix up the cuticle part. So I'm just gonna cure this fully in the nail lamp. All right, I'm just going to repeat that same thing for the rest of the nails. So we're going to get into the next part of these nails. So now I'm just going to take my nail drill and I'm going to file around the edge of the nail tip and just kind of smooth this out and make it thinner because it pops out so much. So I'm gonna do that. All right, I feel like that's good enough to add on the poly gel over that. So I'm gonna do that for the rest of the nails as well. Okay, so I filed down the cuticle parts and now we are just going to take the clear poly gel again and this time I'm going to be putting this just a little bead at the cuticle area. I'm just going to pat this as close to the cuticle as I can get it. And I'm just gonna blend that up onto the nail tip. Okay, so I feel like that's good. I'm just going to cure this.
Okay, so we have all the poly gel on. They just look like normal clear poly gel nails. The cuticle areas are really seamless. Another thing with full cover tips that I really dislike is how the cuticle areas turn out to be. I, I just love a clean cuticle area. Honestly, I'm just not that good at it to make the full cover tips look really flush with the nail. So I feel like this is way better. So next, these definitely need to be shaped, especially this thumbnail because the nail tip is just like Kind of too thick for my nail but the size under it was too small so i definitely need to file this in i think i'm going to shorten these a little bit here are how they look right now not too bad this only took me i think like an hour i totally forgot i was gonna go into shaping them and then i was like wait i have to trim these down i still want these to be kind of long i feel like that's good so I think that's a good length. Now we're gonna actually get into the shaping. Okay, so here are how the nails are looking so far. So we're going to shape them. I just have my McCart dust collector and a hand file and we're just going to reshape these nails. Okay, so here are how the nails are looking after they have been shaped. So the next step, we're going to get into this nail design. So I'm first going to start off by painting on the bases of the nails. So we're going to use a black gel polish and a nude gel polish. So first off on the pointer finger, I'm just going to take this nude color and paint this on the nail. It's very sheer. We'll actually have to see how many coats this is going to take. And then I'm just wiping the sides of the nail so we don't lose the shape that we made. Okay, and I'm going to cure this. Okay, and I'm gonna do another coat. Okay, I feel like that's good enough. So next nail is gonna be a black nail and also the pinky nail, so I'm gonna do them at the same time. Okay, so for the black nails, they do need two coats, but I'm only going to be doing two coats on the middle finger because the pinky nail is gonna have chrome over it, so it doesn't really matter if the black isn't perfectly opaque. So I'm just going back over the middle finger with that second coat. And then I'm doing the ring finger, which is going to be another nude nail. And I'm doing three coats of this nude because I want it to be really opaque. And 
And then the thumbnail is also going to be a full chrome nail, so I'm just doing one coat of black. Okay, so all of the base color are on the nails. So my next step is going to be drawing on the French tips. So these two nude nails are going to be French tips. So I'm just gonna take my black gel polish and put some on my mixing plate. Okay, so I'm taking my nail art brush and I'm just going to start off with a guide to make the French tip. So I just kind of draw a line to show how deep I want the French tip to go. Make a triangle shape and then round it out at the top to make that nice smile line. And then I just go in with the gel polish brush and just fill in the rest of the nail. And then I kind of just go back in with my nail art brush and smooth everything out to make sure that the gel polish is nice and even. And once I made these nails, the French tips, the nails started actually looking more normal because it was looking a little bit odd with just the nude nails and the black nails. It was just like, what's going on? But now that the French tip is on, it's starting to come together. So I'm just doing that same thing on the ring finger, just making another French tip. Okay, so I have the French tips all done and now I'm going to add on the chrome powder. Okay, and the pinky nail and the thumbnail are gonna be full chrome nails. How I added on the chrome to the French tips was because they were sticky from the gel polish, but I wiped down these other nails. So now I'm just gonna take some top coat, but I'm only gonna cure it in the nail lamp for like five seconds, like really quick. Okay, and then once I cured the top coat for like five seconds, it leaves a little bit of a tacky layer, just enough for the chrome to stick to. And I didn't wanna do this for the French tips because I really dislike putting on a base color like the black and then painting on like a layer of top coat over that black French tip because it's sometimes hard to perfectly match up the top coat with the already drawn French tip. I hope that makes sense but that way just never works out for me. I'd rather just stick on the chrome with the sticky gel polish that's already there rather than having to paint another layer of top coat on the French tip. Okay and once the chrome is on the nails I'm just putting top coat onto our two French tips. And we are going to get started on this nail art. So for this pointer finger, it's going to be a croc print, but no blooming gel, just like a drawn on croc print. So I'm using my nail art brush and I'm just making horizontal little lines going down the middle of the nail and then also on the sides. I am just loving this color combination. The black and the chrome just go so well together. And like I said before, I know this nail set isn't very Halloween-y and I know by the time you're probably gonna see this video, it's already a week into October, but I honestly really wanted to do this nail set. And I was just, like I said before, feeling a little bit overwhelmed on what nail set to do to start off October. So this is what I ended up with, but please, I hope you can see what I see. Like this can still fit for October, even though it's not 
exactly spooky nails but i feel like the color combination is cool and the nail design so anyway on the french tip on the ring finger that one is just going to be an outlined nail so i'm just outlining the sides of the nail and also the french tip and then on the pinky nail this one's gonna have like half of a star cut off on the side of the nail that one was a little bit hard to get the portion of the star correct but i eventually got it on the thumbnail this one's going to have full stars and this was my favorite part i actually really loved drawing on these stars it's actually really easy so don't be intimidated by this star nail art because you basically just draw them on how you would draw a star normally if that makes sense and then you just fill it in And then on the middle finger, this one is also going to have full stars, but these are going to be chrome. So I'm just using the chrome gel that I have instead of like doing the chrome powder stuff. So it's just going to have one full star and then it's also going to have an outline star. I feel like the outline stars would be really hard, but because we're putting them in a place that they're cut off, it makes it easier to get the portions of the star correct. Okay, and that is pretty much all the nail art. Now we're gonna add on some nail charms. So on the pointer finger, the way I adhered the charms onto the pointer finger was a little bit odd because I didn't wanna put top coat over the entire nail again because I didn't want it to look lumpy with the crock print that we drew on there. So obviously, if you were to do this design, you would have to put top coat over the crock print because it's just, you know, open gel polish, but I didn't do that, so just ignore what I did. But anyway, I adhered the gems with some rhinestone glue and I just placed it on top of the nail and the same thing with those little cuticle gems as well and then on the ring finger i'm actually doing it correctly so i'm putting some rhinestone glue where i want the charm and then i'm painting top coat over the entire nail and then i'm going to add on this star charm and that's pretty much all for the nail decorations so now i'm just going to finish off the rest of the nails with some top coat Next, I'm going to add on some cuticle oil. And here are how the nails turned out. Let me know what you guys think of this nail set in the comments. So I really love this design. I just love the color combination. I love the stars. And the cross charm honestly fits so well with this nail set. The cross charm itself is silver and black. So it just fits so perfectly. And it just adds that, just that little touch of spookiness. So the way we did these nails, I don't know if you can call it gel X anymore because it wasn't really gel X. I don't really know. But we applied it with poly gel and also left that gap at the cuticle area to fill that in with more poly gel and look at how nice and seamless it makes these nails look it doesn't make these nails look like full cover tips at all they just look like my normal regular poly gel nails and the cuticle area is so nice i really enjoyed doing these i feel like it was much quicker than doing our normal nail tips and whatnot but this was just like a fun different way to try and i feel like it turned out really good so i would definitely recommend trying it this way honestly guys i'm just a nail tips and poly gel type of person that's just the nails that i like to to do even though it might take longer that's just what i like so once again happy october everyone and i can't wait to do some more halloween nail sets with you guys i have so many nail designs that i want to get through so let's hopefully see if we can get through as many as we can and this year for halloween i want to do a lot more nail art nail sets like i want to do more crazy nail art i want to look back on them and be like wow did i really draw
draw that nail art like that's what i want i want some crazy nail art nails but that is pretty much it for this video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you all enjoyed make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will talk to you all next time bye